Very rarely is a landfill close to where the waste is generated. Waste is generated where people live, and nobody wants to live near a landfill. So oftentimes landfills need to be sited very far away from population centers and where waste is generated. American cities are spending $5 billion a year shipping waste, many times across state lines, to landfills instead of recycling it. There's markets that want to buy that material, and it's been estimated that material could be sold for $11 billion. We are literally throwing money in the garbage. But herein lies a tremendous opportunity for both the public and private sector. In 2013, several of the world's largest consumer product companies and retailers convened with cities and recycling companies to find a solution to the root problem. A year later, these companies joined together to make that solution a reality. Today, raw materials are needed to make most of the consumer goods that end up in retail stores. Consumers buy those goods, and when they're finished with them, they end up in expensive landfills. If we build recycling services and infrastructure at the municipal level, cities could reprocess their waste and send the materials back to the companies for the manufacturing of products, closing the loop. If every city in the country closed the loop, it would build better, stronger communities while saving industry billions of dollars a year. Today, you have some communities where there's an excellent recycling program in place, some communities where the recycling program is, is average, and then you have a lot of communities where there's literally no recycling program. Our goal is to make sure that 10 years from now, every U.S. household has access to a convenient and robust curbside recycling program. The Closed Loop Fund is supported by $100 million, invested by brands that want to close the loop and take those bottles and cans out of the trash and return them as usable materials to manufacturers and as resources for healthier communities. By 2025, American cities can save $2 billion, create 27,000 local jobs, divert 27 million tons of waste, and save 77 million tons of greenhouse gases. In 2015, the Closed Loop Fund will begin to make investments. At a national level, we're talking about billions of dollars. That can be used for teachers, firemen, police, uh, economic development locally. It benefits government, it benefits citizens, and it benefits companies.